All right, guys, free play in the Grand Slam of darts. We're going to take a look at Martin Lukeman over our good friend Peter Wright. Uh, Corbin, oh, yes. this guy's made us a lot of money betting <laughs> against him here. So we're going to go over that free play here in a little bit. But uh, really what we want to talk about is the special that we're running on darts and why we're doing it this time of year and why you should be betting on darts. So Corbin has been handicapping darts for a while. So first off, uh, let's first off explain what a gigantic hole the market is and why we should be betting on darts. So can you just explain the soft lines that we get in darts? Oh, the easiest way to explain it, I, I've said this before, but the books are just not paying attention to darts. You think of all the sports they have on the sports books, football, soccer, tennis, basketball whatever it is they're really not paying attention to darts also the amount of people betting darts is so much less that the lines don't move as much and the books don't catch on but the biggest point i can make is what other sport do you get where you can literally fade part-time players who have jobs such as like electricians and plumbers against full-time professionals like top 10 players in the world it's just a gold mine, quite honestly. Like there is literally no other sport I can think of where you get those kind of situations. So yeah, we're going to take advantage of that. I know a lot of you don't watch darts. Some, most of you probably have never watched darts and it, it's okay. You don't have to, to watch it. This We can be cashing tickets while you're watching your other favorite sports. Corbin watches more darts than anybody. <laughs> I am now into watching darts. We follow these players we know this is not a sport that you have to, you know, follow it full time. Exactly. The other thing, Corbin, is this time of year. This is mm -hmm. this is the gold mine of darts. So can you explain <laughs> why we're doing this special starting now? Yes. So between now and the end of the year, I think we have three, three big tournaments, two major tournaments. This is the first one, uh, the Grand Slam of Darts that we just mentioned. And then we end with the World Championships, which is... If you if you think this tournament's a gold mine, you wait till the World Championships because they literally anyone could technically qualify for that by coming up the ranks. You get some real mismatches at the start of that tournament. So yeah, the this promo gets you the gets you all three of those tournaments, which is which is a steal in my eyes. So yeah, so we're twenty and nine this year on darts, and honestly, we're probably looking at fifteen to twenty plays just between now and the end of the year uh, with some of these. It's it's the big stretch, it's the biggest tournaments, and it's got the best lines. The best players in the world are dialed in. Um, they're 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 trying to win, you know, world championships. So uh, the special we're running is forty nine dollars for the rest of two thousand twenty four. We were going to run it for ninety nine, and then they said, just. Let's do it for 49. Let's get as many people as we can. Uh, this is an absolute steal. A 5% play is $35. You're getting the rest of the year, all percentages for darts for only $49. We know it's a little bit of an obscure sport. But that is in our wheelhouse. If you followed us for a while, you know this is where we do our damage. It is sports that the books and the general public are not paying attention to. Uh, everyone can watch any sports they want. This is a sport that you can be cashing tickets on while you're watching your favorite NFL team, NBA team, uh, soccer team, whatever. So, uh, so Corbin, uh, let's talk about the, this free play. Um, yes. uh, do, do you, <laughs> so uh, it's basically a fate of Peter Wright, I'm guessing. Yeah, exactly. Peter Wright is, has, has really fallen off the last year, year and a half or so. He won his world championship. I think it was now four or five years ago. And that was the peak of his career. And it kind of felt like ever since that moment, he's accomplished everything he needs to. He's a world champion. Does he need, he doesn't seem to have that same drive, that same passion that everyone else has had. And it's really shown this year. He has struggled throughout the year. Betting against him has been hugely profitable. How he made it into the Premier League, which is uh, the tournament we bet him in the start of the year. Still don't know quite how he's qualified for that. But yeah, we're going to take Lukeman uh, minus 105 versus Wright. So Lukeman actually had to come through qualifiers a week ago to get into this tournament. He played, I believe it's four qualifiers, and in each one of them, he averaged over 103. So just to give a quick basis for people that don't know what darts is, basically they start by throwing to the ball. Whoever gets nearest the ball starts, and then uh, they have a score of 501, and it's the first one to hit zero, and you have to end on a double. Different areas of the board relate to different scores so to average 103 with three darts is it, it's a really high score anything north of kind of 95 i would say is a really good average 103 is 
very good. So he has all the momentum coming into this. He has no real pressure on him. Like he's 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 not a big name in the slightest. But PRI has lost four of his last five, and his averages are all over the place. One game he averaged 75, another he just about got to 97. But he kind of seems to be in the 80 to 90 range. And if 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 Lukeman plays Anywhere near average in 100 plus, this game won't be close if he has those kind of averages. Uh, Wright's been a choker all year. Even if he's ahead, he just he finds a way to throw it away, and he 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 just even if he keeps it close, he just stumbles at the end. He also hasn't played in a couple of weeks, which I could uh, which I think will affect him. Whereas Lukeman's coming off just playing a week ago with all those averages, so he's the far hotter of the players. And at this price, I, I think it's a steal. So. I've watched Peter Wright like be way ahead and just somehow miraculously lose. And then I send you a message like Peter Wright, he did it again. <laughs> he did it again. Uh, uh, so um, for those of you that are interested in just some basics about how some of these tournaments work, Corbin, you want to go through how they play like best of, you know, best of nine, best of 11, just kind of how some of these tournaments work throughout the, yeah. the, the days. Yeah. So most of the tournaments, I'd say about 80% of the tournaments are just best of, a certain amount of legs i think this is best of nine if i remember so it's first to five basically um every tournament kind of has a different style you have some which start on a double you have some the uh different scores you go on but this is this is the traditional this is first to five it's pretty straightforward the actual format of the tournament is the only thing that's slightly different in this one they have a group stage uh, of uh there's four players in each group 32 players and they play like a round robin format so even then you can get players that are going into the final game that have lost and best believe those darts players that are already out are not going to give any consideration to the last game they're just not going to care because they have nothing on the line um two the top two from each group go through then they play i think it's the quarterfinals then the semi-finals and then the final and that's pretty much the path to this tournament whereas the world championships uh, is a longer format it's normally best of sets so it's like three sets which is a lot longer format i'm sure we'll do a video nearer the time on the world championships and i'll go into detail on that but yeah that's all you need to know for this one so all right guys that's going to do it for us if you could hit the like button uh, if you have questions i'm sure you do just leave them in the comment section uh below uh more than willing to talk through it but um really the most important thing is just how soft the lines are how gettable that this sport is and uh, how well we've done. So really proud of that 20 and nine record and fully expect to end the year uh, with an even better record. So thanks very much, Corbin. Thanks everyone. Good luck on all your plays. We'll see everyone later. Good luck.